your top news headlines this morning. Kentucky law enforcement, along with several other agencies, still searching for Saturday's suspected I-75 shooter, 32-year-old Joseph Couch. This morning, Governor Andy Bashir spoke with local law enforcement in Morrow County about the search effort. Vasi Prokos live in London this morning as the search for Couch enters day number six. Good morning, Vasi. Yeah, good morning, Tyler. Well, Governor Andy Bashir is applauding law enforcement on its ongoing on its work on for this ongoing manhunt for couch as well as offering condolences to the victims involved in the shooting alongside Governor Andy Bashir at the conference was Colonel Philip Burnett Jr. with Kentucky State Police. He says there is no significant update on finding couch, but officials are following up on all tips that they receive. Burnett adds crews are out there right now utilizing every tool at their disposal and will expand the search radius in the Daniel Boone National Forest if necessary. Couch shot and injured several people in Saturday's shooting off I-75. He faces five counts of attempted murder and five counts of first-degree assault for wounding five people. Governor Bashir says four of the five victims have been released from the hospital and the fifth is expected to survive. Couch is still considered armed and dangerous. Bashir says the goal is the same, to protect Kentuckians and bring safety and stability back to this region. We're grateful to local law enforcement who responded uh, so quickly, ensuring that this situation did not get worse and immediately opened an investigation that continues. Grateful for the cooperation, knowing that justice and safety is the end goal. And there is a $35,000 reward for any information that leads to Couch's arrest. Bashir now heads to Frankfurt to donate blood at the state capitol for a blood drive there and is encouraging all Kentuckians to donate blood as well. We'll have more from Bashir and KSP tonight on Fox 56 News at 630. But for now, live in London, Vasi Prokos, Fox 56 News.